This week on The Space Between, some friends make the crossing over to the Bahamas with us to the biggest party in the Abacos, the Cheeseburger in Paradise. And the dinghy debacle? Well, it just keeps getting better. Hi, I'm Scott. And I'm Holly. And this is The Space Between. I'm on vacation every single day cuz I love my occupation hey, 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 I'm on vacation every single day every every single day everybody sour like a lemon tree I'm just smiling down upon my enemies do the shit and love it on a daily say you hate your job but you'll never leave never leave but that ain't gonna be me that ain't gonna be me my brother call me on TV. So it's that time of year again. What time is that? It's time for Cheeseburger in Paradise. We are in Fort Lauderdale. We are preparing to get ready to make the crossing tomorrow. And unfortunately, the dinghy that has come back from repair yet again is out yet again. So I have to run around today while they're trying to replace the sea deck before we go and get a new dinghy. Such is the life of a charter boat. So we are, I can't, at Nautical Ventures in Dania. Where's the dinghy? Oh. All right, be safe. I'm not gonna give you the camera to take with you in you this like weather. Bye. So, day two of provisioning. What do you think of this whole provisioning business, Miss Carol? I think I'm done shopping <laughs> forever. So day two, we went back for fresh goods because, you know. It's and the entire bed of the truck is full. And one day fresher, yes. Another bed full and back seat full. So that's two uh, card loads completely full of food. Mm -hmm. We don't know where we're going to put it on the boat. <laughs> we may sink the boat. We don't know. So not to be outdone by the uh, turn that we took to the keys there. Co that's the right word. Copious, copious amounts of alcohol for their four-day excursion. We have this plus whatever we have left over in there plus everything in here plus everything out here plus <laughs> everything in here all four of those belong to us on the boat plus that so granted uh, yes and there she went back to the liquor store last night after she dropped <coughs> us off and we got i think a bottle of crown and a bottle of citrus maybe so it is a longer journey <laughs> than the last people but i'm pretty sure they're they're uh we'll have to go back and review the footage yeah no i think the bill i had for the last people's alcohol was Four hundred and fifty dollars. Oh, and yes, I think we're we figured it out last night. We probably have spent seven hundred and fifty dollars on alcohol. But it's a little bit longer period of time, but still, <laughs> we should have a good time. It is five a.m. and we are currently sitting in front of the Seventeenth Street Bridge, waiting on it to open and headed out on our adventure. It is currently 6.31 in the morning and I am here with my trusty sidekick. It's got scary girls driving a boat. <laughs> yep. And we are watching the beautiful sunrise. So when you absolutely positively have to be there in a hurry, Freeport's got a go fast ferry and her name is Valeria. Man, that thing is fast. All right, we've got a we've got an environmental alert going on. Boop, boop, boop. Right here, here's the gaff. Okay, we're coming up on a balloon. Gaff's right here. Is that a jalapeno? Yeah. Hey, jalapeno. Oh, the, the lizards ate it, didn't they? 
Okay, here we go. Holly, the super balloon catcher. We're gonna see her save the environment by catching one of those dastardly savage balloons. You gotta be careful, because they're out there and they're liable to get you. Okay, here comes the balloon. Does she catch it? Does she catch it? Yeah, what a deal. Oh, and down she goes, ladies and gentlemen. That's a savage balloon. Don't let it get you, Holly. Wow. That's right. What happens to them? They can become sea turtle food. Yeah, and sea they turtles eat. One in the last yeah. Week and you talk about bad gas for a sea turtle. Holy cow. Whew. It really gets rough out there. Captain Clark has got the old boat just humming today. As you'll notice we're uh, got the sails up high, enjoying that 3.6 knot wind. Beautiful, beautiful ocean. The only wind is the wind we're creating. <laughs> That's right. Making that our own much. wind. That is not much. But wow, what a beautiful day. Little pano here, Wiley. Giving you a little pano zipping around. Oh, there's the lovely and talented Jack. Here she comes. Oh, easy, easy, easy. <laughs> so today we are having a look at Island Wi Fi. So a follower of ours hooked up with us in Hopetown and said, hey, do you know about this new thing called Island Wi-Fi? And I'm like, yeah, no. And he said, you gotta try it out. It's unlimited, uh, no lag. So I said, all right. So I looked it up when I got home and for 75 bucks, plus $10 worth of shipping, this shows up at the door a couple days before you're gonna leave. And then whenever you turn it on, like today, when we hit West End, it will activate. So let's have a look and see what's inside. Thanks, Brian. We are almost to West End. And we are making drinks. Hi, oh, my old lady. <laughs> and the Wi Fi, Lind Wi Fi is working. So good on that. When you hire crew to be on board they will cook you shit in the bikinis and cowboy hats and all you have to do is hand the bikini that should be a, a whole new segment bikinis and cowboy hats yes i'm, I'm thinking those already bikinis i've been there oh, okay you, you probably have been there randy that does not there. surprise me i've rode that pony all you got to do is give them the cooking utensils and they cook you shit well, you know, other humans eat too, and we have, we had to feed ourselves before. So, so this is so I'm enjoying this. This is actually one of the finest meals uh, I've ever prepared for so, the Queen of England. Okay, so tell me what you're cooking for me today. Well, I'm going to cook some of the best shrimp you've ever slapped across your lips. Okay. It's going to be slathered in some of the finest cream sauce that's ever slopped across your tongue. And I'll tell you what. It's so good, you're gonna rear back and slap your mama because you're like, why didn't you cook for me like that, baby? I'm telling you, it's good. Oh. So quick pit stop in West End and we are pulling out of here today to head to... Big boobs. Double breasted. <laughs> Double breasted. Double breasted, apparently that's what we need and we have a that's dead a battery. Double breasted. <laughs> I should be letting every guy. <laughs> Off we go, as soon as our lovely water pressure fills up the tanks, because... Full blast, kids! This trip, as we shoot across the Bahama Bank, well, we take a little different route. We leave from West End, we hit Mangrove Rocks, and then straight over to Double Breasted. Hey, y'all. Tell us where we're at. What's happening? You gotta go below the wind line, or else you all hear is... Ooh, okay. We'll get a, we'll get a boot shot. Too loud. So we are um, almost to double breasted key, right? Yep, we're uh, a friend of ours, Nick Kelly. Got me, uh, I've always wanted to go here, but until he went here. Now we know we can because he has the same boat we do. Now I really want to go. The camera's not running. It's not running? Are you cutting off our heads? Can you see us? Yeah, running? I can see it. I've got a double breasted shot. <laughs> <laughs> Not the better. Woohoo! Um.
so about the time Scott brought the dinghy up so we could leave, I decided that I wanted to go to that beach right there. Doesn't it look pooty? So, <laughs> the man that he is put the dinghy back in the water, caught his thumb in the D-ring, but we're going exploring. <laughs> well, you make it sound like I had a choice. You did have a choice. <laughs> and the kind husband that he is took us to double breasted sandbar That's so we could search for shells and hang out on a beautiful sandbar beach. So, as the golden sun sets here in the Bahamas, we get ready to head to Treasure tomorrow. A little bit of rain here on the way to Treasure. Everything is stowed inside safely. Thank you, crew. Well, it is T minus 20 hours until the charter officially begins. And it has been coming down in buckets for most of the day. Quinn is swabbing the deck in the rain. Um, everybody is recovering because we polished off an entire jug of Goombay smashes yesterday. <laughs> and the boat is clean and is the easiest time I've ever had cleaning the boat before a charter. I think I'm going to spoil myself more often by hiring out the job because that was just too easy. So everybody's napping and we're going to do laundry. Yeah. Top of the morning to you. Three are in the bathroom or in the bedroom. It is a beautiful Sunday morning. Yesterday I did not need them. So. No. Today. Today we need sunglasses. Rest of the guests arrived today and we are off to do the last bit of laundry. Get some Florence's fine cinnamon rolls and Bahama bread and junk a new Java coffee. Back and the boys have mounted the Texas flag. There's no hiding it now. And I did our fifth shopping trip. Yeah, that's like five for the charter. This mini for what? Well, for it was technically one charter plus an extra week of the other crossing uh, of the crossing and the fun that preceded the charter. <laughs> so five shopping trips, three trips to the liquor store. Yeah. Which aren't included in the five, so that's eight. eight. There's eight, eight all together, and we're still going back for Bahama bread here in a minute. And there was a couple trips to the bait shop and and to the bakery and the bakery. Um, and so yes, we are patiently waiting the guests to arrive within probably the next hour. Yeah. And we have got nobody's punch they punch didn't as to already they created for off, them. So booze already in it so we just pour and go yep. Quinn got a job over on that boat this morning washing decks for some beer money and um, beer money is always good we are ready to go we're going to go get our bathing suits on so we can enjoy this beautiful day that is outside go Michael there's a camera is it on it's on the camera's on is the camera on? Yeah, it hit, hit the record button. It did. I did. Is it running? Yeah. Oh. It says record. Yeah. Hi! <laughs> you made it! Oh, you were oh, yeah, recording. recording. Oh, wow. oh, yeah. Yay. 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 Cheers. Thank you for the goodies down there. Don't forget to join us next week as we head off for the pregame party at Nippers. We check out the new restaurant over at Piggyville, have one hell of a party at Cheeseburger, and then end everything up in Hopetown at Wind Down Sip Sip. Mm -hmm.